Alrighty, so we got some breaking news coming out of MOS, so I was about to do the mega review of looking at all 13 games that happened in match week number 29 and squash it into one video. When I found out that the Houston Dynamo has fired their head coach Paulo Nakamura, and I believe he's now the fifth head coach this season that's been fired, but you know, it's been a while since we had had a head coach that's been fired or decided to move on to another team. I mean, the last time we had a head coach that was fired, I think was all the way back uh, when Mateus Almeida, of course, was fired. Or actually, no, that, that was, I think, one of the, the first one. I think the last one was when, when Miguel Angel Ramirez was fired. And then uh, if you want to talk about a head coach that decided to move on to another team, and what's the most recent was when Ronnie Dahlia decided to go to Standard League and leave NYCFC in the middle of the season. But you get what I mean. It's been a while since we had to do a video talk about a head coach that has either moved on to another team or have let go by their team and you know today it was announced that the Dynamo decided to fire their head coach and you know in some sense I think this is a move that pretty much signaled the fact that yeah they're gonna restart this rebuild again I mean I talked about the Houston Dynamo a team that you know it's kind of weird how, how they've been rebuilding the, this team I mean in some way they've been putting some placeholder there and trying to go through this deep rebuild but they just haven't really find any progress and now it seems like they're going to try to do do an FC Cincinnati this season and potentially finish last in the Western Conference three year in a row and that I think maybe the front office was kind of fed up the fact that that they didn't really make any progress and decided to pretty much uh press the 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 chopping block button and let go of Paul Nakamura though I will say this you know as crazy as this might sound I do feel like the Dynamo has improved in, in a bit this season. I mean, this season, first of all, they have won more games on the road than they they have won in the last two seasons. And there's times where this team have shown more fight than I've seen it is than the last season. But, you know, showing fights and, and, and also, so you know, those sentiment kind of reserve will only get you as far you know the fan base really want this team to actually get the reserve that will show on the standings. And right now in the standings, it's not showing that because they are on bound of like I said potentially becoming like the FC Cincinnati of the Western Conference finished dead last for the third straight years and that again this is also a move that you know I know obviously there are a lot of Dynamo fans that want want Paul Nakamura to be fired from this team because it doesn't seem like he, he really made any progress to this team and also uh they you know when he was first hired by the the Dynamo there was a lot of skepticism the fact that you know this is a guy that didn't really do well with Sporting KC2, and now he's basically giving a chance to come to MLS and lead to a team that is clearly in a rebuilding and, and in a long-term project. Many people feel like maybe he wasn't the, the right candidate to do so, and that, again, now it seems like that, of course, is the case with the front off decide to let him go. But this also means that, you know, I, I talked about before where, you know, it's when you, when you decide to let go of a head coach so many times, then it also started to get to a to a point where maybe the, the the fan base would also question the the front office and you know I know the Dynamo just like like the the Quakes uh, fan base has always questioned their their front office and has always questioned their ownership and even though they have changed their ownership just this past year you know that fr front office is still as bad as what we we've seen in the previous regime and it's again it's just getting to to a point where a lot of the fan base are questioning the front office and some of the decision making and that you know I think this next hiring is going to be huge like if they screw up this this next hiring and if this team does not show progress next season in terms of the standings yeah there, there's definitely going to be, be some of the, these people in the front office for the Dynamo that could be on the hot seat because again they need to to see some progress I mean I know this Dynamo fan base have kind of gone through for a rough patch these last couple years with this team being a bottom feeder pretty much every single season but the fact that they're not showing any progress in terms of the standing itself you can see that there are a lot of fr frustration that it is going on and that again you know this upcoming hiring that they're going to make this is a very big big one and that it's one that they have to get it right because if they do not get it right that's when the fan base is going to question the front office but let me know in the comments below what do you think of this video and what do you think of this news and oh by the way you know it's not just uh the fact that paul nakamura got fired from the houston dynamo pretty much his entire staff got, got fired too i mean i mean i think the only uh staff member that is left in the paul nakamura uh coaching staff is their goalkeeping head coach uh both of their assistant head coach also so is 
felt the axe. So yeah, you can clearly see that this is definitely a clean house and that again, it feels like the Dynamo are going through through stage one of this deep rebuild once again. And that, like I said, it is very big for them to get right. Or oh, there's going to be really at least some big question. You got to have to ask about this front office and the decision making that have really holding this team back in terms of progressing to the next stage of this deep rebuild that they're trying to they do but either way let me know in the comments below what do you think of this video and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys do like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time